This is Matt from Gaslamp Computers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to encrypt your system drive with Discryptor. Uh, Discryptor is a free and open source tool licensed under the GPL, uh, which aims to rival TrueCrypt and PGP whole disk encryption. So we'll Google Discryptor and go down to the Descriptor website. Uh, the developers are Russian, so um, you'll need to go to the English version of the website. And then go to the downloads. And we want to download the Descriptor installer. save the setup file, which is very small, and then run it. You'll see it's licensed under the GNU GPL. and then you'll need to restart your computer. So I'm showing you how to use Descriptor. In a previous video I've shown you how to use TrueCrypt, um, but if you want to go the really, the truly free and open source route, Descriptor is the way to go. Uh, the reason being TrueCrypt is released under its own TrueCrypt license, which while they do release the source code. Uh, the TrueCrypt license is not recognized as being uh, an open source license by the uh, open source initiative and because it's too restrictive. And I don't want to get into the legalese of it, but uh, Descriptor is released under the an approved open source license. So if you really want to go open source with your disk encryption, uh, check out Descriptor. So this is the basic page for Descriptor. Uh, you see we have our regular hard drive and it also shows our CD-ROM drive. Uh, you can create encrypted CDs But what we want to do is encrypt our boot drive. This is, we see this is this drive is flagged as boot and as a system drive. So we click on it and then click encrypt. Just like TrueCrypt, uh, we're going to use AES as the encryption algorithm. You have choices of combining uh, multiple algorithms, but just using AES is going to be the fastest and we don't have any sensitive data currently on this system so we're going to go with a wipe mode of none. If you do currently have sensitive data on your system I recommend going with uh, a, one of these wipe modes but they will add significant uh, time to your encryption process. Uh, the Gutman mode is a 35 pass wipe which could make your wiping and encrypting take a very very long time. It'll make it take at least 36 times as long as running no wipe. So I'm going with no wipe for the purposes of this video. And then we click next. Uh, it wants to know where we're going to install our bootloader can install it directly to the hard drive or use an external bootloader which would be like a CD-ROM or CD uh, and using a CD with the bootloader but I'm just going to install it to the hard drive. And click Next. 
Okay, now I'm going to create a password. And it gives you a general idea of your password strength. I type in my password, it gets a medium rating. Uh, I recommend you going for a medium to at least a medium rating, uh, incorporating all of the capital letters, spaces, digits, and special symbols. Uh, so I've typed my password in correctly, and then click OK. And it starts to encrypt your system. Uh, it gives you all the details of how much it's encrypted, the speed at which it's encrypting, and an estimation of the time remaining. So while this encrypts, I'll pause the video and come back when my drive has been fully encrypted. Alright, so once it finishes encrypting, you'll need to restart your computer. And it'll ask you for your password on every boot. And then your computer will boot up, and now your system drive has been encrypted with Descryptor, the free and open source disk encryption software. Uh, I think it's in active development and should have a lot more features pretty soon. But currently you can encrypt system partitions, uh, you can encrypt using key files or passwords, and uh, it looks like they really are on track to make a really good open source product. So I recommend you check it out if you have issues with uh, TrueCrypt. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave me a comment on YouTube or check out the blog at gaslampcomputers.com.